you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you today from Cities Skyline, where we are picking up with our, well, let's hope I can figure out what I'm doing, <laughs> play of the game. Uh, yeah, so literally you've seen pretty much all my attempts to play this game if you've watched the videos that I have posted. So yeah, so it's okay if you have suggestions for me on how I might improve because I have watched a few videos that other people do, but I tend to, this is how I watch YouTube. I don't really always watch the video. Um, I listen to it a lot. It might be playing while I play the game. I even listen to videos at work, which means that they're not always paid close attention to. So I've, I've listened to a lot of videos. I've watched a few and yeah, this is just really me being a complete and total doofus, which is kind of fun. <laughs> At least for me. So right now I, I've gone through and I've kind of assessed the situation. So I went through all the various uh, information views that we have over here to see kind of where we're at city wise. And what I have found is that we're okay. I think, I think obviously if this were a real one where money was involved, I'd be in trouble. Um, also, it looks like people might be leaving, but generally speaking, people are happy. They're getting the services they need for the most part. Uh, we have plenty of water, sewer, electric for what we have now, but our path, the path, we are on a path to get to 700, uh, 7,500 people living here. So in order to get there, we need to focus on upgrading some of our services. So right now we have a high demand for residential and high, a medium demand for commercial. All right, no problem. Before we deal with those, either of those, we want to make sure that our water doesn't run out. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come down here. We have these two um, turbines that we did last time there. I thought they were water turbines, but they're wind turbines that sit in the water, which, okay. And what I'm wondering, let's see, I want to start, I want to start by making sure, why is that water consumption and sewer production? So I only have one pump in and one pump out. So I think one of the first things we need to do is double the capacity of each of those. So I'm thinking I should be able to put What is that? Is that a sewage or a... That's sewage there. So those are both... Wait a minute, where's my... Where's my out? This should be clean water being picked up and then the out should be on the other end. So let's put... Come here. Come over along the coast here. Here you go. Let's put you there. Okay, hopefully that will work. And you here and once those are constructed that should let me go ahead and turn unpause those should get constructed why are you saying you have no power on that spot right there why what's gone wrong with the power you're saying like you don't have power there that doesn't make any sense is it just that it ends there? If we do that, will that make you feel better? Apparently that does. Okay, so now that should ensure, okay, our water and sewer availability are up. Yes, so I can, I can tick those boxes that I, I'm okay there. Now the other thing that is of concern was, and where is it? It's always a question of which of these, there we go. Garbage. Our garbage processing status. Our landfill's full. It is full. So I'm going to do another one. Now, let's pause. Let's find out. Because right now I cannot do a recycling or an incineration plant or anything. So I'm kind of stuck with needing to do it this way. And I kind of want to keep... If I can fit another one in here somehow... Is there somewhere? If I take a road out here, will you will you let this be out here? Let's see. Let's take a little dirt road. Uh, just a dirt road. 
is there anything such as a just a dirt road? What are you? Two lane gravel road. That'll do. I'll take it. Uh, let's take it here. And maybe out that far. Okay. Don't take out my power though. Leave my power where it be. And let's see if we can. Aha! Just like that. That will do right there. Okay, so now what does that do for our landfill needs? Uh, oh, wait, starting us up again. Unpause. Alright, yeah, we're, we're losing so much, so much money. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Landfill 49%. Garbage processing status zero because we don't have an incinerator. So we just have landfill, which we just doubled our capacity. So we'll be okay for a little while. All right. So hopefully the place won't start to stink. The next thing I want to make sure is the place doesn't burn down. <laughs> we have a couple of spots that are a little low on the, uh, the fireman ladder, so to say. So, we've got a fire station down that end. Let's go ahead and put one in at this end. Let's put it... How far can we put it? Oh, we can't put it there. Can I put it there? Yeah, but that's not going to help because I want the help on this side and I want the help on that side. What is this building? I know the space is already occupied. I want to know what the building is. What is it? High school. That's what I thought. Okay, so I'm okay with having the fire department. Let's do this one. By the high school. I is okay with that. If I put it there, a lot of them turn green all of a sudden. Now if I put it there, we don't get as much green. So we definitely, because the traffic only goes that one way. So let's put you there. Now what's zoned in that area? Let's do... Uh, we bit of this one, I think, of commercial zoning in this area. Thus and so. Okay, so fire department taken care of. All right. Oh, excuse me, folks. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so. Whoop! Don't do that. Don't move the camera. Alright, so we have the fire situation, I think, under control. Because that was the area of concern for fire. It's still a little little red down by the river. It's a little red up in the industrial area, which I don't, un I don't understand. Quite why it's so red up there, but okay. Uh, oh, we've won the Most Attractive City Award. Huh, yay. <laughs> Apparently I announced that when I wasn't looking. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a quick look at the districts. Okay, so. Kind of just kind of cleaning some stuff up today with what we've got before expanding the city some more. So I would like, what's this the button I want? Districts, yes, this is the button I want. I want to paint new district. How big is this brush? That's fine. We're going to do this area kind of from here and along here. Now it is working out the way I had hoped where essentially these residential areas that are coming up along the river are the highest valued property. So yay that. Yay that. Okay, now I have to think of a name for the district. Uh, I do. I have to think of a name. Um, alright, how do I name it? Now, oh, no. Undo that. No, 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 no. How do I undo that? Hang on. Everybody stop. Is there an undo button? I don't remember asking that before. Did I ask that before? Because what did I just do? You, know, you guys called it Park Heights and Chester Hills? You've named it for me. Okay, erase district, 
create district. Okay. Can I erase what I did here? Alright, I'm just going to erase the whole thing and start again. I'm going to just erase you and you. And we're going to do that again. I'm just going to use the big brush this time. And we'll go from there. And we'll go to there. Okay, so you've called it Spruce Heights. Very nice, Spruce Heights. Okay. So now, how do I... I've forgotten. It has been... I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit, too, I think. Oh, no, that's a little too much. Too, too much. It's hard to get it right here. Hang on. The camera's going to go wonky a little bit. As I do something on another screen. <laughs> Sorry. It's <laughs> just, you know, technical difficulties of the brain. All right. If I click... Okay, how... I knew this. The last time I played this, I knew this. What is that? Milestones. Okay. I knew how... to work on my districts. Monuments. To open each of them up and look at them. And now I've forgotten. Do I need to go back and watch my own video? That's what I probably need to do. Uh, let's see. Toggle snapping. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. You guys go away. Ah! Is it that simple? Yes, it's that simple. I was overthinking it. I was overthinking it. Um, okay, so... Uh, which is... <laughs> typical me. Typical me when I'm under stress. Overthinking it! And I have been very stressed lately, but we're not going to talk about that today. We are not going to talk about that. What are we going to call this? We have Old River District, River District, and other side of River District. No, no, no. side. What am I, where are my fingers on the keyboard? Side of River District. Enter. Other side of River District. There we go. Now, Policies, smoke detector, yes, power usage, water usage, um, let's see, parks and recreation. Okay, I don't know what that does other than make it happen to have parks, which I do want to put parks in there, so we're going to go with all that. I can't do an education boost yet. Okay, that's true. That's why we are on the road to 7,500 people. Vanilla or default style. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. Now, we have that district in place. This old industrial area. Let's see what we've got here. Um, tired of watching your stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to do a pet ban here. The, I think I'm, I'm going to, you know try and have the industrial areas work on recycling. Wait a minute, where are we at? City policies. Yeah, I'm not worried about city policies right now. District policies. Smoke detector. Water. Water. Recycle. Recycle. Yeah. So, that is bread basket. Uh, we're not going to do a pet ban or anything, though. Okay. Commercial district. We allowed for recreational usage. Um, and then that's it. I'm tempted to do a pet ban in the recreational area, uh, but I don't know. I don't know what that would actually do for us if we did it. Okay. Residential is going to do power and water. Okay. Well, it picks. It, I didn't actually check to see if it would make anybody mad, but. We'll see. Uh, recycling parks and recreation. So we're going to do that. Let's do park and recreation here as well. Water usage here as well. Recycling here as well. I have no idea if these are great ideas. And of course, because I have, I'm not spending any money. I don't have money. Uh, <laughs> I have given myself no money problems. Uh, I can do this and not worry. Okay, so now... Let's look over here. We kind of have this in-between 
area, which has a bit of residential, a bit of commercial, a bit of undeveloped, and then we have this open area here, which is really just going to be park. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpause and let the game run a bit. Um, so I don't have that zoned at all yet. And of course, there's going to be another central district here, so let's do that one. That one I know I'm going to do another central commercial kind of a thing. Right from here, up through here. My straight lines, do you love my straight lines? Aren't they fabulous? And I can always modify the edges later if I need to. Right through to the border, please. There we go. Because we can modify them by doing this and this. And then I can sort of... No, no, I said remove. Remove. There we go. Bring that in a little bit. Move it out. I'm like, I'm so... I'm, I'm, I want to put a ruler up there and make it as straight as possible, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. That's not how Daffville works. Uh, that's not how Daffville works. Okay, so let's turn that off. Apartment rent is rising. Yeah, we need more residential. I know. I know. So we're going to call you... We're just going to call it Commercial Heights. You wanted to call it Kent Heights. I'm okay with Heights. But putting the word commercial in it helps me remember what I'm doing there. Okay, so then we want to put the policies in place. Okay, and eventually I'm kind of assuming that oh, yeah, we'll put recreational use in there too. And I think that was it. Taxation, sitting, planning, those things are not open or available. Okay. <laughs> You know, I can customize each of the districts to make sure that we have what we need. So, all right, we have the new districts. That is good. Now, I want to I want to do some more busing, but before we do busing, obviously, we need uh, we need more residential. And I think after what we just did, I want to go ahead and build this little spot here out a little bit more. Um. We still don't have high density residential because until we get 7,500 people to move in, we're not going to get that. So, I need to decide a few things. Let's take a road. Uh, let's see. A simple two lane road? I think so. Let's just make a cul de sac in here. Say, starting here. <laughs> And just bring it through to there. Click. Got it. So now I can just go ahead and make this whole area. Oh, oh no, not that not quite that much of the whole area. Where's the painter? How big a brush is that one? I can do with that brush. Yeah, I think I can do it with that brush. Okay, does anybody want to live across from the cemetery? Because that's what we got. We're okay with our health services, including our death services. They want a crematorium, but I can't do that yet. That's another thing I don't get until I'm at 7,500 people living here. Okay, now let's do this side of the road. Okay. And then... Down to about here. And then let's do a little bit of commercial to help balance this out. Uh, let's go down here. And come up to there. Okay. That gives us a little more commercial, a little more residential. They'll like that. They will. They will like that. Uh, and it looks like we've got a whole back section of residential that's not plotted in there. And, oh no, the, the, the farms are all leaving. Why are they all leaving? It's probably because I didn't have enough people to work them. I was being too slow. 
Yeah, see that there's they want people to come work and there's no one to come work, so they're leaving me. They're leaving the city. So fine. The city will pay to have the lot cleared for the next industrious person who wants to come in and make a farm. I wish I could just make a really big farm. That would be cool. That would be way cool. I would like that quite a bit. Alright. So I think, let me look at my checklist, the major things on my checklist, I think I have accomplished today. Yeah, it looks like we're evening out on residential and all that good stuff. People are, look at how quickly they are moving in over here, man. We must be, you know, the most popular place around. You know what I'm tempted to do? Hang on, let's see if we can do a road. Can we do a road from here? No, that's, no, we can't do that. I'm, I'm tempted, let's stop that. I'm tempted to go ahead and put a road down the middle here. I'll have to take out someone's house, but... Don't worry, I'm not gonna take out the park. Back off the park. If I do that... Yeah, I know you're not happy. I get that. This person is about to be even more unhappy over here. Oh, wait, what? Ha! I lost my... These people moved out? Hang on, what is that zoned? Okay, well, it saves me having to knock anything down. Because I think I'm going to put a road here. To here. I know you're not happy, but a developer just paid the city a lot of money to be able to do this. Just, just take that as truth of the moment. There we go. <laughs> and do we have like paths? I want there to be like paths. Landscaping. Yes. What's this? A gravel path. Alright, so let's do... I can't do that. Okay, but it's showing me all these little blue... D hey, I wasn't done with that. <laughs> I did that to myself, didn't I? Gravel path. So it seemed to indicate that I could connect it there. But then it doesn't want me to go anywhere? Okay, it did let me do that. Okay. So that makes it, I think, easier for people to get to it? Maybe? What if we did it on the other side as well? No, I want to put one here. And just bring the path down here. See how far we can go without damaging anybody's property. Apparently that far is good enough. Okay, and that kind of gives us a gravel path through the middle, and maybe we can build out some park-like features there uh, later. Yeah, no, this is pretty good. All right, so we have accomplished some things today. We have made sure that uh, we've upped our residential, we've upped our commercial. It looks like we've upped it enough to change the balance. We have also uh, cleaned up our districts a bit and uh, made sure that we have enough water, sewer, and trash service to happen for a while. What is that, though? And, of course, okay, whatever it was, it went away. Um, and, yeah, we're good for the moment. So that's going to be it for this video. This is Little Daffodil thanking you, as always, for joining me. And I will see you in the next video.